Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, Warhammer 40k. My name is Saika and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on legendary difficulty of this beautiful game. Uh, and Grandmaster mode as always is enabled. I got a bit of a situation where unfortunately my recording didn't uh, work and I cannot re-record uh, missions so I'll just narrate uh, what has happened. We brought our librarian to level 9 finally and got a bit of bloom seeds plus some extra requisition and uh, grimoire. So that's really where we stand at the moment. And I would say we are out of here because I don't want to run into Death Guard destroyers. Instead we're trying to get to the center of uh, the solar system. And for once, we're not starting a uh, an episode with a, a battle or mission of sorts. We're instead just starting with, yeah, basically um, tactic uh, a tactical overview. More bloom spawn detected. We got a gate mission, so that's going to be our our priority. And we got another mission down here with a bit of requisition and we got a mission over here. I think these uh, things here look like they are spreading. Um, that's where that red bloom is coming from, which I can only assume. Oh yeah. Okay. This is why we're seeing kind of red everywhere. That's a bad mission. We need to prevent that. But we also need to prevent uh, this Hellgate mission here. We got servitors. Um, we got level 3 grenades and we got some power armor. What do we get? An apothecary. Now that's not what we want. We want another librarian. But to be fair, we haven't upgraded our ship yet. So at the moment, even if they would offer us one, we wouldn't have a room. Seven days and that uh, changes because then we do have the necessary room. Let's go and close the gate mission first. Morbus gates need to be prevented at any cost, really. But that's go now going to be interesting because for the first time we're going to see a different team composition. And the team composition that we're going to see is going to be uh, the ranged um, support fire uh, composition because that's basically what we're, uh, what we're playing. There is uh, storm bolters, uh, warding staves, uh, power armor, uh, and tier 3 grenades. So a lot of really great stuff. And if we kill 10 enemies with ranged weapons, which we will do with our composition, that would bring us to quite a bit of requisition. So before we are doing anything, this time there is no librarian not happening we're going in with a new team composition and I mentioned it before it's going to be a range just a car it's uh, going to be that's Epi Epitelius yeah who is going to be our range just a car okay cool that's good uh, we're going to uh, take a purifier no a purgator sorry and another purgator and then we wanted to go with interceptor so let's explore together how this uh, team comp should function for starters we need to uh, get uh, the interceptor named all right i went uh, with ubuntu uh, which by the way <coughs> is a linux uh, software um, but it's not uh, just a reference to the software. We do have a subscriber called Ubuntu Scorpius. Um, also someone who has uh, commented a few times. Uh, so buddy, here you go. You're just drafted into this nice little team. And let's start with uh, really getting the right loadout going. So we got, first of all, before we do the loadout, let's start with stratagems because the stratagems will compensate for what we cannot do. Um, the first stratagem that I definitely would want to take is Gate of Infinity because we do not no longer have a teleportation. This will be a worse teleportation because we're losing AP, 
but it's better than nothing. Then, um, this team also does not have a dedicated healer, uh, so that'll be a problem, which is why I think uh, heal 2 will be a great option. Strength of the Spirit is almost too good to not take it, but we are holding the line for a long period of time and we're not uh, really the most tanky. So um, in those gate missions, I feel that the uh, High Sanctuary is a really, really, really good option. Uh, three armor effectively means less damage that we're taking and that is good. So now we're left with the tough decision. Do we want to have heal in there, which I think is a very valid uh, one, or do we want to have more crit? Um, from t uh, from time to time, or do we want to give up the gate of uh, gate of infinity? I think I want to keep gate of infinity simply because it's a get out of jail card if things aren't uh, working uh, that well, and I definitely want to uh, keep high sanctuary heal is to catch up, which means as much as it pains me, strength of the spirit with uh, uh, all of the crit is a cool uh, option, but I think we're instead going to go for three rounds of immunities uh, with 100% resistance and the cleanse all purified. Given that we do have two additional uses of any of uh, these uh, things, anything but High Sanctuary, which really doesn't require to be used more often, well, maybe it does, uh, we, uh, we might be there for more than five rounds. But the point is, if I uh, put in Tide of Shadows, for instance, at the beginning, we can still reuse it, uh, so that will be good. So I would say that's a conservative set of uh, stratagems, which uh, will make our life um, quite uh, quite enjoyable here. Um, let's take a look at the equipment. So since it is a new setup, uh, we might need to uh, start this guy here does already have ranged weapons but not yet psi cannons so <clears throat> for the time being we're uh, sitting with boulders and maybe we're actually staying with boulders so who knows uh, i want a big fat boulder uh, six damage um, looks like the right boulder this here isn't a bad uh, choice either because if we crit we can take off body parts and that is not to be uh, not to be underestimated either but i think that uh, straight up six damage is uh, is really good as well um, hard to tell we don't have the extra ranged um, i may check something we do have 10% more crit, but we don't have the extra range damage. So um, on crits, uh, if we had it, I would uh, take uh, this boulder here uh, simply because then crits uh, deal an equivalent amount of damage. But uh, I think we're just going with, um, with this boulder for now. Six points of damage, good. Melee weapon. Um, I think we're just going with uh, kind of a base weapon that uh, deals a lot of damage. Um, we will shift uh, will points to others, so I would not want a weapon that requires a very high amount of uh, will points. So that looks like a great halberd. Can we upgrade anything? Sure, let's get a little bit more crit damage. Uh, base damage, of course, would be better, but <clears throat> we're going to get there. That's nonetheless six points of damage as a base, which is a very, very strong halberd. Um, in terms of, in terms of uh, armor, I am wondering if we might want to give them uh, the armor where we can continue to spend hit points instead of will points, because this unit in particular with their um, with their uh, inspire the chapter might be a great option uh, for that matter of fact I think that is the perfect unit for it 
And once we get more hit points on it, this is going to be such a great armor. Good. In terms of war gear... Uh, one last uh, thing. We do have... Hmm. Hmm. Let me think about that uh, for a second, because because I think I made a small mistake. I mean, this one here is great armor. I like the other armor as well, the one uh, that gives us extra grenades and and allows us to have uh, three three grenades because that would give us uh, the option. That would give us the option uh, for a lot of explosives. Hmm. It's a matter of preference, I would say. We do have nine willpower. A lot of it comes from that sacred uh, incense. We would get more willpower over time, but I think for the beginning, uh, that Terminator armor is better. Good. Um, the Seeker Skulls seem legit, because that'll... Um, make enemies vulnerable but then again we do have vulnerable from any of the uh, purgators and we will need to deal with uh, cover so hmm I will try this one here it will uh, limit us to nine will points but but we can use grenades and oh, I forgot to mention that we finally got frag grenades level 3. Which now, as you can see, have a pretty sizable area and deal 7 points of damage. And the area is bigger even through his armor because... Um, because his armor um, allows not only to have 3 ammunition, but the uh, grenades also have plus two area. That is great. They ignore half cover, they destroy cover, and they also have a pretty sizable knockback. So I think that is good. It, this uh, we're, we're playing a little bit of a different game, not always using the same uh, stuff that we had used before. Good, brings us to uh, Purgature number one which if we look at the abilities is the guy who is supposed to run uh, the big fat psi cannons so let's start with the loadout here and we're definitely looking at the right psi cannon so you can see it's the one with one uh, ammo we definitely need to upgrade him for more ammo and uh, currently we have enhanced uh, him to deal two extra crit damage on ranged crits uh, which i think is fine that's a totally reasonable um, option and he's just there to also destroy cover with uh, elrin's oath um, i think an autoloader might go a long way an autoloader might go a very long way because we are oftentimes going to struggle with reloading so in terms of power armor uh, we got uh, this one here with uh, focus higher focus means we will be more likely to trigger autos and he does have a little bit more willpower I think this one here is good it uh, gives us enough willpower so that we can go for a passive uh, crit um, type of item and it also gives us higher focus, which is important for this class, uh, for this build in particular, as uh, we are relying heavily on that rapid reload, uh, which is now coming in at a 70% uh, chance. Uh, we're going to go with uh, uh, more ammo as well. So, so far, good. Inquisitor, we're not doing anything. Um, we do have zero chance. Uh, zero is a grenadier. If we look at the abilities. We have uh, heavily uh, slotted ourselves in here. And then we got astral aim uh, to crit individuals and take off, um, take off body parts, which is going to be interesting. So let's start with ranged weapons. We do have the Psylancer. 
And we do, do have a level 3 weapon, the Demon uh, Stinger, which uh, if we, uh, for, for starters, deals a, a whole lot of damage, crits very, very nicely against demonic targets. And on top of it, deals extra damage against the demonic targets. So uh, that's just an overall fabulous weapon. Um, as you would expect for level 3 weapons. In terms of armor, uh, we are going to uh, go with anything that makes sense. The plague, uh, I would, uh, for starters, we can't even take it. We do have this or this available. Um, immune to mo immobilized or a little bit more willpower. I tell you what, we're taking this one here. which now makes us immune to immobilized and immune to hobbled is good as well. It's not the perfect armor, but um, it is certainly one that uh, works very well. Um, and in terms of war gear slots, now here's the thing. Do we really want that extra crit damage? That's a good one. Uh, or do we want additional grenades? And if we were to take additional grenades, which ones would we pick? Um, for the time being, uh, we would have uh, the option for an Empyrean Brain uh, Mine. I think that's not as great. Uh, or we're uh, going for a uh, silencing uh, grenade, which I think isn't bad, but um, it only does silenced. Well, I shouldn't say only. Silence is a really strong, um, a strong application because uh, enemies can't use psychic abilities, specifically against caster. Specifically good against casters. But I think the extra crit damage um, is a bit better, and we have more grenades to deal with uh, cover. Which brings us to the question: What, what have we not covered so well at the moment? We do have a lot of. Um, a lot of ranged power, uh, firepower. Um, I think we're lacking, uh, we're lacking uh, mobility a bit, uh, with the exception of the interceptor. Um, cover removal, yes. Uh, we definitely don't have healing or any support yet. So I think um, uh, this is where Ubuntu comes in. As a storm bolter, I want something with a lot of ammunition. So five ammunition is already very good. I think we're just going with the five ammunition simply because that means we're reloading less often. Damage isn't perfect, but it is okay. So now in terms of melee weapon, we can take whatever we want. But I think something along those lines here with extra crit isn't bad. Uh, so, but that uh, would go would go a lot uh, a lot into the uh, we deal a lot of melee damage, and we don't want that. Uh, as a outlook, we want a two-handed ranged weapon on him. In the meantime, uh, we might want to just take that uh, parrying blade. And it's also a great melee weapon, so there's nothing wrong with it at the moment. The other alternative is give him a warding staff, which might not be the worst idea, to be fair. 50% chance of Aegis, because he's the closest to a tank. More willpower for more teleportation. I think we're going to do that. Good, that's a lot of willpower. In terms of armor, let's use the armor that allows us um, Yeah, this one here would be great, but yeah, we're taking the one with a little bit of willpower. Good, and in terms of war gear, I think it is still 
the best idea to have a hailer uh, skull because that one is great only allows us to use it twice but it's still a mimic beacon and i personally like mimic beacons a lot so this uh, character here is skilled um, into support fire and the idea is that we teleport into a place where we can support fire and then attack 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 so psy cannon psy lancer two storm bolters which we still need to upgrade a little bit but that's fine but i believe overall that is uh, not too bad mm. let me just think about it We could go for the Seeker Skull because vulnerable we don't have that yet and this is two extra points of damage with any shot onto any target that is affected. Um, that's a very strong item, potentially more damage than just the occasional uh, passive crit item. Very likely uh, uh, to be the case by the way. Um, And then the last option, you know what, as much as I like that, I think this here is also excellent, the autoloader, because we will have a lot um, more attacks resulting in a lot more damage. Okay, cool. So that's my first take on that uh, new team, support fire team. Let's see how well it plays out. Here we go, guys. All right, let's go. Calamity beckons. The Noctilith crown looms before me. The weight. The weight of its Ektar. Have faith in your power, Inquisitor. The Plague God has no hold over you. No, not yet. Not nearly. Oh, come on, Vakir. Don't wet your pants. We've done that multiple times. Why would anything be different this time, huh? All right, so where is the Chaos Gate? It's pretty far away. You know what would be cool? Gate of, uh, gateway of Infinity just here. But yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'm busy. If you insist. We're going to see a couple of gates come uh, opening up very soon. And this team definitely feels already much lighter equipped than uh, the other teams typically you do have that meatball combination where everybody is just rocking five six seven armor but nope not this time i'm concentrating Uh, we can't overwatch with her for whatever reason. All right. But we can get extra bloom seeds over there. Good. Waspinator moves in with his big whooping gun. They shall not pass. They indeed shall not pass. Our Jessicar. At the beginning, I will they don't want to waste any uh, will points if possible. Good. The Silencer do have the distinct disadvantage that we cannot Overwatch with them. Moving now. 
But luckily we do have two bolters and a storm uh, and a psi gun. So three overwatch shots. I sense the enemy from region. Nice. He will rise again. Good hits. I like it. I'm Good. Down. Ubuntu just moves to here. What is your will? At your command. And how about us move into here and then this here? Uh, should deal a lot of damage. Nice hit. Nice support fire. Auto reload, thanks to our armor. Had a good chance to trigger. This better be worth it. For the Order Malleus. Couple of hits for the Order Malleus. Let me fire again. Yeah. I'm letting you fire again. Yes, Commander. Okay, and here we go, Wespinator. <laughs> you have been judged. You indeed have been judged. Here. Your orders. Good, moving in. Nail. Yep, nice little hit. Fantastic. Yes, Zero sir. chance. Moves to here. We bring and just completely and utterly destroys this guy. In the meantime, a little bit of a teleportation gimmick here. Moving quickly. Gaining our one spell point back. And I tell you something. Gateway to infinity. Sounds attractive when you're... Able to move everybody to here. Hmm. All right, Inquisitor. Yeah, we don't want to trigger these guys. Inquisitor is just running up. Not sure why our I stratagems, by the way, sell. are not allowing us to teleport her. With uh, our Psy abilities, I somewhat have a an appreciation that that uh, doesn't Little always format. work. But seriously... At once, Commander. Good, we're going to, I am here to serve. Yes, sir. kill these guys, and then we're going for the gate. I will fire when ready. My blade is ever ready. I will hold them here. Very good. Uh, we're using the time to reload. Ready? And we are good. This is going to lead to potentially 
Uh, a blooming. Alright, what did these guys just uh, get? Whatever it was, not cool. This one is immune to knockdown, right? Knock back. Yeah. I can't even push him off, which would be great. If we could do it. Yeah. Good, five damage. Ready to serve. I'll go. Two. One. Wow, that's a long way. No, that's not going to work. Praise um. This one will. Good. That means we're not wasting our support fire. This guy takes a lot of damage or can yes. take a lot of damage. these hits standing no, ready nothing fantastic but okay yes commander this one will great hit Empty. storm Uh, we do have Autoloader Skull for exactly that reason. Another autoloader. At your command. As We're moving in so that we can support fire, Look. which is important. This solves our cover problem. <laughs> okay, uh, reminder to self, don't fuck with uh, anyone who has that many grenades. Boy. That's just absolutely disgusting. The support fire. And 
there's the problem solved. Onward, brothers. Good, we need to move in and one of the best ways of doing that is to teleport there. Any further blooms that we can collect? No. Who are you? Hellbrood? Mechanical creature. Okay, can't simply kill this guy. But we could dominate him. All demons shall wither beneath my gaze. Very good. All right, back in the middle of this harsh encounter, I was pulled away. So last thing that we did, uh, we dominated this massive Hellbrood, which is uh, quite massive with 46 hit points. Uh, but we do still have a lot Praise the Emperor. of I'm other brutes to, to uh, to toggle. Um, I think we can't, it, it's clear that we can't like, get all of them, but we can, with our will points, we have enough for a banish, so one of those next turn will die. Yes, yes. Standing ready. We can't give the, uh, we can't give the Inquisitor. <sighs> That's unfortunate. All right, so how do we go about uh, these guys? I think it is quite obvious that we need uh, some form of vulnerability, but I think that most of these guys are not vulnerable. Since vulnerability lasts a little bit longer, this will yeah, make the Dreadnought vulnerable. That's okay. Still worth it. Do we have an extractor? No, that's an outloader. And we got the hailer. Okay, maybe we need to use a hailer skull. We're going to find out, but these guys are immune to uh, to afflictions. That's a bit of a problem. So, interceptor has enough ammunition. Epi moves in. And begins to hit the trees. Very nice. Oh no, I forgot uh, that he was. The, uh, he only had two action points. Uh, I forgot uh, that he had another chapter. Well, it is what it is. Death to the enemy. There's the support fire I was hoping for. We auto load and that's a beautiful uh, psychic onslaught. I must rearm. Yes, Commander. Good, there we go. More auto loaders. Um, hmm. 
would be some good damage. This, on the other hand, would also be some excellent damage. At your command. Listen, I think we're saving the grenades a little bit. Or, alternatively, we throw them so far behind here that that's a two for one. The holy hand grenade removes all of the cover. Nice. Nice. Gosh, it just doesn't stop, does it? Better be worth it. Good. Before we're doing anything here, how about more holy hand grenades? Another one down. What? We could theoretically dominate that thing. I will comply. Moves up. Come on, really? Mm. Can we dominate that thing? I'd rather kill it. That's a mechanical being, so we cannot kill it. And the problem is we don't have enough time units. Could have just moved to here. So the question is, do we want another turn? Or are we just going out? You know what? Might as well make you crazy and then start the ritual. Knights. Once I begin the ritual, you must keep the demon force at bay. If I fall, then all is Good. lost. Crazed, attack their allies, dominated, will always attack their allies, so I could have just re dominated, I guess. Here, yeah. what is your will? I am here to serve. 
Ubuntu moves up. It's this guy just so that we're not wasting any turns. And ready to serve. I believe. A nice little psychic onslaught is due. Autoloader. Another one down. There we go. Continuing. Good, we're making room while stealing damage. That's exactly what My we need for this strike here. Standing ready. We bring ammo. Good, we're needing to reload. Point being, I want to extract the seeds. So the Emperor lights our path. That should have extracted the seeds. These guys are a little bit further away. Uh, but we could theoretically Teleport to here and then use a Halo Skull. Not a bad idea. Well, one of uh, them is enraged, the other one is not, and we're just reloading so that our support fire will work next turn. It has too many hit points. Let's just go into safety, get the Aegis shield. sure why there is a death uh, sign here. Hmm. Alright, you're going to afflict it. What does your spit do? Uh, area of two deals immobilized. Um, targets an immobilized knight within range 10. Next turn, any medium sized unit in that space will be destroyed. Okay, so essentially, it, it, the trick here is just to move out, which we can because we are not bound to that. Uh, the other trick is to do this. Purify everybody. And yet another trick is to do high sanctuary. And now finally everybody is a little bit more tanky. Now, given that we are where we are, Let's 
get to here so that we're not dying. Yes, Commander. Ready. Reload. Into into this. You know what? Might as well deal AOE damage because why not? Read it. Uh, here we go. Holy hand grenade pushes back his melee companion. I am here to serve. to serve. Move up for a hit. And another one. And then we're doing a little bit of this. Okay, that's almost almost a kill. Yeah, the serve. safest the safest route here is to just force strike uh, him to death. Good, we're moving over here, let that melee just run, 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 and not reach anything. Uh, we're almost out of ammo, might as well reload. Okay, cool. So far things are going relatively well, and with that... Uh, with that extra armor, I'm doing quite well. That was stupid, he just ran into the gas tank. What is your will? Praise the Emperor. Good. We anyways need to reload. This one will Death is our creed. Fabulous. On the way. Move to here and uh, start Please hitting rain. demons. This weapon is specifically effective against demons. We're doing very well. Support fire for a little bit more damage. This one will fall. Get down. Yes, commander. One, two, you will heal your orders. 
Three plus kill. This guy has a. What does he have? A spray, a plague breacher gun. Uh, that's not that scary. We are moving over here for more Overwatch. Um, moving closer here as well. And so far we're actually doing quite well for ourselves. Minions. Interesting. My blade is yours. This guy's eighteen hit points, so that's Ready a little bit serve. too much. Uh, let's me. first of all get that support fire out. Feel my wrath. Praise the Good. Emperor. Unfortunately, we need to reload. That's unfortunate, but. I am here to serve. Necessary because that's so I much bonus damage. The reason why I'm using it on this on. guy is because he is immune to At your command. Uh, to auto fire. I sir. Very nice. Auto loading unfortunately didn't work here. This guy has too many hit points and is affliction resistant. Beautiful. Break, stun, plague shield. I think we're just armor breaking. Not that it does a lot of things, but empty. Auto loader on ourselves. Didn't know that we had an auto loader available still. Might as well use it now. How many skulls do we have left? Uh, one more afterwards. Okay, cool. It's not too bad. Takes a lot of, uh, generally a lot of damage to go uh, to go down. Nice. Finally, the auto loading here I has worked.
starting to slowly but surely hit this guy. And yeah, the left two Chaos Space Marines open. Not the best situation. But what the one that we can deal with. Strong Oh wow. Good, more enemies are coming in. We don't have the uh, mm, the firepower to uh, to just get all of them away. I am here to serve. Standing ready. Yeah. Yeah, this guy, hmm. What's our main focus is the question. Praise the Emperor. How much ammo do we have? Two out of two, okay. Here. Your command. Zebes. Grenades empty. What is your will? That would be good. Move over here. And we do have two more grenades. Alright. That holy hand grenade dealt a lot of damage and pushed them back. And I'll keep on of the chapter. Ready to serve. What is your will? I am here to serve. You should be vulnerable. I could have done that beforehand. Would have dealt a little bit more damage. We're using all of our vulnerability now. Fair enough, even if it is just one more guy there, that's okay. Here. Here. And this should deal a lot of damage as well. So much so that it's actually oh no, just four instead of five. Mm. Come on, 
Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I wanted to move up and actually kill this guy. Okay, we are... this guy here is still annoying. Uh, too far away to really do something. These guys are, I think, also too far away to do something. Yeah, we we might just continue with moving a little bit swifter so that these guys come back. We do have ten, ten grenades left over. Plasma pistol removes cover. That's indeed a foul heresy. More enemies are coming, but we're doing good so far. As good as one could expect. Everybody is pristinely healed. Yeah. Standing ready. Let's see if we can push this guy forward. The answer is absolutely yes. Need ammo. Reloading for ourselves. That's good. No more seeker school. Unleash me at your command. But we got a halo school, and that is what counts. Getting in closer. These two are taken out for now, which is good. Bring the holy hand grenade. Ammo, that is not good. Um, yeah, we need to fix fix that. 
but we can't uh, hand over actions because we are currently silenced. Good, we're still doing the best that we can, given the circumstances. Yes, Commander. Reload required. Free reload. No, not free reload, actually. Normal reload. This here's a problem. But what that one that I cannot solve right now. Desecration turns. The dire edifice cracks beneath my will. We are at the precipice of victory, brother knights. Do not falter. How much longer do we need to hold out? Yeah. The Emperor lights are off. I am here to I am serve. here to serve. Good. Let's go to here. Everybody lost an AP for that, which is unfortunate, but it's nonetheless necessary to get into a better position. Automatically reload? No, we have not. Oh, that is so unfortunate. We have no reloading. Uh, auto reloader. My build is you. Down to four. Ready to turn. Moving Which we can move out of the way. My blade is everywhere. Nice little strike there, and I think we're still going to do this. The Emperor lights our path. Fury. He cannot get out of melee without uh, taking damage, so let's do the same here. <laughs> Trying to prevent damage from uh, 
from our Inquisitor. Alright, a little bit of damage, that's fine. Well, not a little bit, it might be quite a bit of damage, but uh, the Inquisitor was okay at the end of the day. Close mission, much closer than what we typically had. All right, took a while to load <coughs> with that victory screen. Let's see what we've gotten ourselves into, shall we? We certainly got quite a few seats and for requisition which is good we can select an apothecary which I don't uh, want or we don't also don't have the room for it uh, we got a four ammunition bolter a um, little bit larger range and overwatch ability gains plus two damage per shot three damage actually so it's an overwatch bolter I don't like the idea too much of it. Then we have Gate Binder, uh, five damage staff, I think it is. Yep, warding staff. Eagle Shield has plus two armor. Yeah, Eagle Shield has plus two armor, five damage staff, twenty-five percent crit chance. Not the biggest fan of that one either. We got power armor, normal armor that is. Eight hit points is great. Uh, 35 resistance is good. And oh, there we go. Unit gets an extra passive equipment slot. Okay, cool. That's a taker. Love it. Plus the resistance together, that's fantastic. And we got crack grenades um, to deal damage and armor break five so that's more damaging grenades which you already know that I'm a sucker for grenades so having more of them will be a good option yeah quite pleased with the outcome here Wespinator our purchaser got an extra level we definitely need one more ammo with the type of gun that we're using and then let's upgrade the uh, the onslaught because currently the onslaught already deals good amounts of damage at one plus one damage is never ever wrong uh, i think next up what we want to do here is we're going into Astral Aim with him as well. Or, or hear me out, Support Fire. But Support Fire only deals two points of damage and ammunition is sparse. So might not want to do that. And Ubuntu has done very well we're going to go with more damage for the support shots i like that, that a lot and afterwards i think we're going to go up here because uh, we will now go into silencer heavy cannon Next up, we're also going to get Psychic Suppression. Silenced one turn. That's not too bad. I mean, that's okay. Certainly don't need to upgrade it a lot. I just want uh, the Silencer. 
I just want the silencer. Um, <clears throat> let me think about it. The other option is we go down here and get the war gear slot first, which I think is the better choice. Good. So from all of uh, our guys, I think that... Um, Westinator has the highest damage weapon. So if we are giving him the option for an extra passive slot... Oh, can't upgrade. Hate it. But we need yellow seats. But the idea still is the same. If we give him a nice upgraded uh, armor, uh, we would deal even more damage. Aaron's Oath, by the way, the weapon that we've gotten here, Psy Cannon, that's just crazy. Eight points of base damage. That's super good. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse moi. Can't reach any of uh, the other locations. That's unfortunate. I want to run into the Death uh, Guard's fleet. But I also want to go into the middle of uh, the map at some point. And the number of Death Guard fleets starts to be rising exponentially. I don't like it. Good, new stratagem. I like that. And we're finally getting Will of the Emperor, which <clears throat> is the one stratagem that I was looking for in anticipation of our stun team. Once our bar barracks are finally installed, which is going to happen in two days. So we're ready for the librarian. Commander, I've been dropped on news. An entire inquisitorial research expedition was afflicted with a psychic mucoid infection while seeking evidence for this Morbus theory. The affliction spread rapidly throughout their ship and by the time our brothers arrived, it became necessary to purge all hands. A psychic assault on the Inquisition, Grandmaster. We could not have anticipated. At ease, Hector. The damage was contained. I suspect this was not a direct attack, but a defensive reaction against their intrusion. In the interest of caution, I am restricting the use of prognosticars in your sector until we can be certain their wards oh, wow. are reconsecrated against further psychic interference. Commander, what say you? Commit uh, to our glorious deeds for the next 60 days. <laughs> uh, send the squad to investigate. You know what? Surely my time is better spent on the edict investigating the... An excellent notion. This is... Mark my... A fully out... Finally. Shut up, Vakir. <clears throat> Everybody's got it. Um, carry their little weight. Alright, so now that we have that... I think what we wanted to do next was Hull Integrity or Warp Speed. Warp Speed it was. Um, how about we're starting with uh, the Gyla Field? Because uh, there are a lot of Warp Storms and I just don't want to always take Hull damage. Okay, <clears throat> we're okay. 
Commander, the Tech Priest has informed me of an anomaly picked up within the warp storms in this sector. It carries us. Well, isn't that perfect? We need to sail right into the warp storm. And on top of it, there is a fleet there. And of course, three new blooms. Fantastic. So multi-spreader event over here, which we need to confine. Getting a nice little hammer and more grenades. That's great. We're definitely not doing it without master crafted weapons. <clears throat> Just out of curiosity, what are we getting? Purgator. Okay. Master spreader event over here. Librarian. All right, this has my attention. And a purifier. And why exactly are we up here? So the warp storm just teleported us there. Can barely reach it. Is that what it says? All right, I want the librarian. Prevents warp storm risks. Fantastic. Getting more warp speed so that all of this here isn't always such a problem. And we're, of course, encountering yet another ship. Alert! Enemy collision imminent! Brace for impact! Commander, we need orders. Why would we board them when the ship and your knights is at great risk? They have gun battery level 2. We're going to take two opening fire to fire and Libris Malos damaged Libris upgrade offline oh fantastic that is just absolutely beautiful so you're telling me that I need to repair the Orgorium well that will happen after this one luckily for us uh, the Prognostic cars are not uh, working anyway, so might as well um, let it be repaired. We got servitors to do that, and then the Libras is nine servitors. We, we, yeah, we got that as well, but uh, that means we're getting the ship speed, and then it's basically back to repairs. Also, our hull integrity is two, so maybe we're just committing to get three hull integrity afterwards. <clears throat> good we got a librarian that's a plus storm bolter halbert and servo skulls that is great and in terms of doing this Yeah, I don't like the idea of not having enough willpower. Um, what are we doing here? Bloom, spawn, spreader. That's a tough mission. So we're definitely going in with everything that we do have available. Teleportation will be required. Healing is also important. Mm. 
Yeah, hmm. Good question. Good question. I think we're sticking with uh, what we do have. Seeker Skull was good. Our Loader Skull was also good, but we also need an Extractor Skull, specifically because we don't have a lot of melee damage. So maybe I need to give up the Auto Loader. The frag grenades were absolutely fantastic. Having si six of them was just a really great bonus. Uh, we did have that um, <coughs> armor. I, look, I'm wondering if it just makes more sense to give him even more grenades because we would gain three additional grenades. And. can theoretically do vulnerability manually with willpower and here we now do have great other grenades as well we got the crack grenades that is armor break 5 so 5 damage against armor plus 3 normal damage Very good, very good. Um, okay. Cool. We're going to uh, continue this the next time. Definitely a tough mission, but I think we can manage it. And there will be a lot of uh, a lot of seats here available for us, <clears throat> which allows us to further upgrade our gear. I like the ranged uh, DPS support fire team. So far, it is definitely fun to. Uh, just witness how well it uh, works out, but we're going to see uh, if it continues to be fun just uh, down the road when we're getting our teeth kicked in a few more times. Thanks a lot for watching, truly appreciate that. Um, if uh, you want to battle that uh, uh, severe um, infestation that we have here, the like button is the only way to do that, brother. I need it to be purged. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.